Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who told me it's true. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, my name is Zamon Gabar, and I'm back with another quick lesson, Lord willing, in transit. Lord willing, it's edifying strain to the point. And, um, you know, through the spirit I was watching this morning as I was preparing for work, getting ready, I was watching the other apostle Taha's video that he had put up. You know, he was going into a, a, few, a few subjects. You know, the celebrities getting, you know, getting hip to Israel, and not getting hip to Israel, but like, just speaking on Israel and just various topics and um you went into Isaiah the fourth chapter and he had made a statement that um that kind of just you know I thought of a lesson a quick you know lesson title many men a lot of men will die during the time of Jacob's trouble and that's the case that is true a lot of men are gonna die during the time of Jacob's trouble and Jacob's trouble as we know Jacob is the Israelites it is going to be a troublesome time for Israel, you know, because the main agenda, the main, the main thing is for the, the elites, the powers that be, these Edomites, to target Jake. Jake is the target. Really, it's two thirds. All right, it's two thirds that the Lord is really targeting out of this coming calamity because the elect will be preserved from said destruction. All right, from these perilous times, but. Nonetheless, even outside of Israelites, you got a lot of men in general that are going to die in this coming war. The World War III is going to be the war, the end of wars, the final war. But prior to that, there's going to be wars, civil wars, you know, uh, wars over lack of bread, the Egyptian against the Egyptians, swords in their hands, you know? The Lord is going to stir things up here in Babylon and a lot of men are going to die. You know, a lot of men are going to die. That's why it only makes sense that a man is going to be more precious than fine gold. Really an elect man because that's going to be, the elect man will be the last man standing. All right? The elect man will be the last man standing. It's going to be a, a, a case of survival of the fittest, so to speak. And the fittest... Those that are fit to survive what's coming will be the elect men. All right, the elect men, the chosen men of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which would make sense that why, you know, seven women shall take hold on one man. Seven just mean a complete number of men. All right, now when when that time of destruction, calamity, Jacob's trouble, all hell breaking loose, that's when the majority of these women are gonna realize. That their only hope is to be protected by a man who can defend himself, his own, or whatever. But nonetheless, all that is going to eventually happen. But one of the main things that are going to happen is a lot of men are going to die. A lot of men are going to die in this, this war. You know, and um, the scripture is on um, 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 33 where it says, The virgin shall mourn having no bridegroom. All right, the virgin represents what? The women. Okay, they're going to mourn having no bridegroom, having no husband. Their husbands, their, their actual husbands, boyfriends, whoever they tricking with, whatever, are going to die real soon, all right? They're going to die in this coming war. They're going to die in Jacob's trouble. They're going to die in this famine, plagues, pestilence. The Lord got a long hit list. All right, a very long hit list Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has. And when he unleashed them angels, they're going to put out them hits. All right? And a lot of women are on that hit list too. Because when, when their husband, their man die off, they're going to die. Because who, who going to defend them? Men are going to come in robbing and spoiling and killing them. You know? And not every, not every, and I was thinking about this too. Not every woman... Not, listen, man, not every woman is going to be a candidate for Isaiah 7 and uh, 4 and 1. All right? Not every woman is going to be a candidate for Isaiah 4 and 1. A potential prospect or a candidate. You know? 
hey, the Lord's gonna give brothers, you know, which brothers should, you know, be, you know, working on that skill, praying for the ability to just discern spirits, you know, um, to judge the spirit by the spirit. That's something we should, you know, you know, we should be working on that, you know, and you learn that over time. You try, you try the spirit by the spirit. You, you see a day of the heavenly father or not. You know, we apply that to certain individuals that come around, come to the camp, watch, listen. We, you know, scope on them to see what kind of spirit they come in. Hey, apply that same energy to these women because just because they got a box don't mean you got to open it. All right? Just because they got a box don't mean you got to open it. Some package, you just leave it. You know? And the Lord, you know, is going to give brothers that spirit to discern that in that time. You know, because we know, which I guess I'm kind of diving into something a little different, but I guess it still connects. But we understand that women are high programmers. You know, they they uh they look upward or date upward on a, on a dating scale, which only with which obviously why would they date up? Because they're at the bottom. The only if you're at the bottom, the only way to go is up. How much lower can you get? Which would make sense why women date upwards. You know, they want a man that's be that's higher than them. You know? Which shows you that men and women aren't equal, but that's, that's a whole nother thing. But anyway, real soon, the, the men with the, you know, the, the worldly possessions, the money, the paper money, the stacks, the Floyd Mayweather money, the Floyd Mayweather watches, the pool, big ass pool, big house, Lambos, all that's going to mean nothing. In the time of survival, all that's going to mean nothing. So, women are going to be more so focused on the men with survival skills. All right? And the ultimate survival skills, again, will be this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And who's going to have that? The men of the Lord. But those men that don't have it, they're gonna die. Point blank period, there's no other way to put it. They're gonna die in this coming, this coming destruction, this coming war, civil war, that's gonna take place here in Babylon. Martial law, Jacob's trouble, plagues, famine, pestilence, ultimately the ICBM missiles, you know? So back to, um, to what I was saying and the scripture, with the scripture saying first, let me get, let me continue. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegroom, you know, having no husband. It says, the woman shall mourn having no husband, okay? Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. It's going to be a shortage of men. It's going to be a shortage of men. Like uh, like I was watching the Apostle video, you know, the, the commentaries, they went into it. During the time of anarchy, <laughs> you know, it's going to be just chaos, man. Men are gonna die, all right? Men are gonna die. And that's why, you know, it's important. It's, it's very, very important to maintain in this faith, maintain in this truth. Give diligence to make a call on the election show so that we have that covering when this time, when these perilous times do come. That's what it's all about. That's what we're fighting for. Ultimately, salvation. We're trying, you know, we're fighting to get down for our crown. Okay? So when the Lord does bring this destruction, we will be preserved and protected. You know? So, hey, a lot of women are going to die too. Not just the men, a lot of women are going to die too. And, you know, the earth can afford to lose a lot of women because it's the majority of women. All right? This place, this, this planet, the, 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 this, you know, the, 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 just the makeup of things can afford that purge of women as well. Because many women, this earth is populated with so many women, they ain't even funny. All right? A lot of the Babylonian women are going to die. <laughs> you know, I guess this lesson could be called a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of men and women are going to die. But that's the case. You know, a lot of these women that have partook in that feminism, the serpent, you know, just drunk off of what the serpent had to offer, they're going to die. You know? It's too late for a lot of them. And again, that goes back to the spirit of discernment. You know, the spirit's going to discern and, and, and say, nah, this person, ain't, she ain't fit. Nope, not her. Nope, not her. Every other seven women, you may you may take one. Every other 10, 20 women, you may take one. 
just because they all come, don't mean you gotta take all of them. You know? A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of women are gonna get denied in that day too. All right? And when that time comes, brothers, it ain't gonna be a thing of, you know, like how men are deprived in this society from, from women, sex, dating, whatever the case may be. When that time come, bro, brothers ain't even be thinking about it like that, man. You know? It's gonna be like, yo, what can you do? What can you bring, to, what do you bring to the table? And I, I don't need another table. All right, what, what do you bring? What's your, what's your skill set? You know? That's why our scripture say they shall eat their own bread and wear their own apparel. Meaning they're going to do for themselves. And again, this is going into the time of calamity, which we're approaching that time of calamity. You know? We're approaching the time of calamity. Esau's system is collapsing. And what better time to deal with, you know, women on that level then after the society is said and done because Esau is still in power you know they can still take you to court these women can still take you to court put you on child support say you know hit you with the me too they can still do all that shit so you know be wise <laughs> be wise you know don't think with your you know the lower head think with the, the upper head you know what I'm saying and judge everything by the spirit don't move according to the flesh, especially in these last days. Move according to the spirit. Do everything in the spirit. You know, pray for guidance. Pray for Yahweh Hashem. I'll try to guide you in these days, man. You know, whatever move you make, you always got to pray that the Lord is guiding you in the path of righteousness. For your prosperity and not, not for your demise, man. You know, you go either way. So pray for the good side of things, man. Don't get all caught up, whatever. But, um... It says, the next verse says, in war, the bridegroom, excuse me, in war, the bridegroom shall be destroyed. All right, war is coming. You know, and I got my focus on the road too. You know what I'm saying? You know, Dwadi al Bashim al Shah, may the Lord guide me safely to my destination. You know, going below the speed limit. But anyway, in war shall the bridegroom be destroyed. War is coming. All right, war is coming. The Lord said he's coming to send fire on the earth. And what will he be if it already be kindled? All right, so war is coming. And the fire is already going to be kindled before the actual third world war. All right? Before the actual third world's war, there's going to be turmoil. All right? And that's when the bridegrooms are going to be destroyed. And I'm going to end it here. You know, I want to make this too long. It says, And the husband shall perish of famine. You see that? Famine. The lack of bread. The Lord said, Behold, my servant shall eat. The men are going to eat. How are we going to eat? I say I say we because I hope like all heaven that I am part of the Lord's men. You know, I'm part of his, his elect. I hope I am part of that number. You know? So sometimes when we say we, it's through hope. We hope that we be that men. You know? Scriptures say that he that come to serve the Lord must believe that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. You know, in Hebrew, some, somewhere along those lines. Roughly paraphrasing, but um the husband men, the men a lot of men are gonna die in this famine that's coming. You know? And women are gonna be spoils of war, booty. Just like they always been. Just like they always been. You know? So, hey, you men out there that's watching, that's playing around, better stop playing around because this thing is deadly serious and the Lord's about to cut that, you know, cut that, you know, shut it off, cut off the doors of mercy and just close it. You know? Same with you women out there. You know? That's why we say few sisters because not even, not all the sisters that watch are even sincere or part of that elect. Same thing with the men, but that's why we say few because even less of you, man. You know, the few that do watch, the very few that are truly sincere, may the Lord be with you. But for the rest, that's bullshitting. Well, we're going to see how long that bullshitting lasts. You know, better get it right. Learn how to do something. Learn how to cook. So learn how to be submissive. All right. Learn how to be submissive. Learn how to do a, learn how to do a, a full length 
back massage or something. For hours without talking about you tired. You know? Because if you don't if you don't serve a purpose, then you have no purpose. Alright? If you don't so if you don't serve a purpose, then you have no purpose. If you have no purpose, then you're pointless. Alright? And for the men, serve your purpose. And our purpose is to serve you how will buy shimmy how shot. As the woman's purpose is to serve the man, a husband, our purpose is to serve you how about shimmy how shot. Alright, and if we're not serving our purpose, then what's our purpose? We have no purpose, so you know, give Dale just to make a call on the election show, because a lot of men are about to die. And it's coming World War Three. And prior to the World War Three, the things that are gonna lead up to it. Alright, so with that I'm gonna end it and give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashah by Shimmy Kaku Dash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles, elder bishops, the great millstone, and the elect brothers out there. Shalom.